Okay, in this video, we're going to go over uh, some inscribed angles inside of a circle. And this particular problem is going to have a quadrilateral inscribed inside a circle. And you'll notice that each of these angles, okay, angle X, for example, is what they call an inscribed angle. Angle Y is an inscribed angle as well. And remember that an inscribed angle has the uh, vertex on the circumference of the circle, and then two chords that go out and touch the circumference of the circle elsewhere. Now, one of the theorems that you'll need to remember is that uh, an inscribed circle is the angle of an inscribed circle. I should, uh, excuse me, at the angle, <laughs> the measure of the angle of an inscribed angle is one half of the measure of the intercepted arc. And remember that the intercepted arc is where the angle actually goes out to. So here is angle X, here's the intercepted arc. If you remember that language. Intercepted arc. And then this of angle X is the inscribed angle. There we go. And remember that the formula is that this is equal to, so X, the measure of angle X is going to be equal to one half the measure of the inscribed, intercepted rather, arc. Remember that the symbol for the intercepted arc is that. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the actual numbers involved here. The intercepted arc is going to be 80 plus 70. So let's go ahead and put that in here. You're going to x is equal to 1 half 780 plus 70. That's equal to 150. So x is going to be equal to 1 half 150, or x is going to be equal to 75 degrees. Okay, so now we found x as 75 degrees. Now the other theorem that I want you to consider is that opposite angles in a quadrilateral, in an inscribed quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. So angle x plus angle y is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so if we substitute x with 75, subtract 75 from both sides, and you'll get angle y is equal to 105. Okay, 5 degrees. So again, the two theorems that I want you to remember in this particular video are that an inscribed angle is going to be equal to one half of its intercepted arc, first theorem. Second theorem, that in an inscribed quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary, which means that they equal 180 degrees. Okay, I hope that was helpful.